Hey, what up guys? Doing another What's Next. This is on uh, Yvonne Mendy, French contender. Uh, currently my number eight lightweight in the world right now. That's 135 pounds. Um, Mendy is currently, uh, doesn't have anything scheduled. He hasn't fought since December when he scored a, um, a knockout win over Hyder Pata. I think Pata was a former world title challenger. I just remember his name. Um, but yeah, Mendy, you know, Mendy's just a grinder. This guy is a, a you know, not too well known fighter. His claim to fame was his uh, big, um, his upset split decision over Luke Campbell back in 2015, I believe. Um, they rematched in 2018 in a WBC final eliminator. And um, Campbell, uh, Campbell soundly beat him by a unanimous decision. And then in 2019, Mendy bounced back. I think he went 4-0. and um, you know, Mendy's a good, a good solid, uh, lightweight that just really hasn't, hasn't been able to get over that hump of being the, uh, being a world title challenger. He's, uh, he's currently the WBA's gold champion. Again, I don't know what the fuck that means in terms of when he actually gets a crack at the, the legitimate title because, um, you know, right now he's, um, right now he's the gold champion and they're not mandating him to fight anybody. So I, I just don't know what that distinction, what it exactly means. I know it's it's like a mandatory challenger in a way, but um, I don't know uh, when they mandate that, you know, the gold champion to fight the the the, uh, the regular or the super champion. So it's just kind of unclear how the WBA handles that. So um, he's a gold champion waiting around for a title shot. So let's, uh, let's see what's next for... French contender, French lightweight contender, Yvonne Mendy. Uh, we start with number one, and that is the unified lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko. Well, Lomachenko holds the WBA super title, and he is the WBA gold champion. Um, could the WBA mandate him to face uh, Lomachenko after Lomachenko's fight with Lopez? I mean, they haven't talked about that um, at all. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm not quite clear on that, but I really, but Lomachenko is not going to fight him either way, even if the WBA orders that fight. I highly doubt he fights Mendy because Mendy just doesn't have the name uh, to carry a, you know, a fight with that. And I don't think Lomachenko really cares about all four belts anymore unless it matters in terms of a big fight. I think he just wants big fights and big names. Um, number two is undefeated IBF lightweight champion Teofimo Lopez. This fight's not going to happen. Uh, win or lose to Lomachenko in their unification bout. Lopez is moving up to 140. Mendy, um, you know, uh, he's not really rated. He's not rated in the IBF, so I, I don't see him getting a crack at uh, anything there. Um, one next at number three is uh, Jorge Linares. Linares is uh, going to face off against Ryan Garcia next. I think he's going to get knocked out in that fight, and then he's probably going to be done. So, I don't see him and Mendy locking horns. Um, number four is a rubber match with Luke Campbell. Um, I don't think Campbell's interested in this fight at all. Campbell, uh, if he doesn't get the WBC lightweight title shot next, I, I, I really, I wholeheartedly believe he's moving up to 140. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed down here. But I think he'd only probably fight Mendy again if, if it was for the mandatory title shot. And maybe that will be the case now that Devin Haney's been reinstated as a WBC lightweight champ. Um, we don't know if Fortuna or Campbell are going to fight each other to face Haney or if um, if Fortuna, the number one contender, is going to face Haney instead now and Luke Campbell's going to be left out in the cold. If that happens, then maybe Campbell faces Mendy in a rubber match to become the mandatory. But I don't know if the WBC is going to want another final eliminator between Campbell and Mendy. So I don't think so. I guess it could happen, but I don't think so. Number five is um, undefeated WBA regular champion Gervonta Davis. Um, I think if the Davis and uh, Leo Santa Cruz fight falls through and doesn't happen, I absolutely believe that uh, Davis could face Mendy next. And I think the WBA might order that fight just to keep Davis busy. Um, you know, and he's faced guys with lesser you know, build up, uh, you know, over the past couple of years. So I definitely think this is an option. It could happen. Um, not sure if it will, but I think it could happen. So we'll see. Um, but I really think Davis is going to get the, the Santa Cruz fight next. Um, you know, so I don't think Mendy's uh, going to get the Davis fight. Number six is Richard Comey. 
I mean, I would like to see a fight between two two guys like this. These are two guys, not big names. Comey's obviously got the bigger name, but why not get together and fight in some kind of eliminator to move up in the rankings, you know, or to get a shot at something? I'd love to see it. Uh, probably not going to happen, but it, you know, I, I wouldn't completely rule it out. But I, I think Comey's going to come back and get a tune-up out next, and Mendy's not on his radar. Number seven is Javier Fortuna. Um, Fortuna, he's. I think he's either going to fight a mandatory fight. Uh, to get in the ring with Haney or he's going to get Haney next so I really don't think um, Mendy's there I guess by some miracle of a couple guys passed on a mandatory fight maybe Mendy could move in and face uh, Fortuna next to get in line for Devin Haney but um, I don't see it uh, number 8 is Yvonne Mendy as we mentioned number 9 at lightweight right now is Lee Selby Selby's lining up next against George Cambosos in a uh, IBF final eliminator so I don't see him and Mendy uh, uh, locking horns. And then finally is number 10, Ricky Burns. Um, you know, hey, if Burns wants to move up the ladder, Yvonne Mendy's a good fighter to get in the ring against in terms of top 10, but he's also a dangerous guy that Burns needs to be careful of. I think Burns is probably going to come back and get just take a tune-up next and not face a guy like Mendy. So what do I think Yvonne Mendy's going to do next? Um, yeah, to be honest, he's probably just going to get another stay-busy fight. I think he needs to see, though, with this WBA gold champion distinction, he needs to see what that clarifies. If he can get a world title shot or something along those lines, you know, um, you know, and, and how that works. But uh, if he can't, uh, when the pandemic's over with, I think he needs to jump back in feet first and just stay busy, keep grinding, and hopefully he can get an eliminator by the end of the year or even a title shot because he's highly rated in the WBC and he's a gold champion in the WBA. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. That's the What's Next on Yvonne Mendy. Hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.